Welcome back to Patriots 360 on the UT Tyler Sports Network. I'm your host, Reed Kerr. The first two weeks of the new season are in the books, and the Patriots have seen a lot of action already. Today, we'll take a look at the last few weeks, plus get a preview of what's coming up. Let's start with women's soccer. The Patriots are off to a 2-2 two two start. The women split during their opening weekend, falling to Oklahoma Christian on a goal in the 89th minute before rebounding to beat LSU Shreveport. Junior Morgan Dukes was named ASC Women's Soccer Defensive Player of the Week for her performance in those matches. Dukes started both games for the Patriots and did not allow a goal in over 135 minutes of play. In addition, the Hearst native posted nine saves over the two games and recorded a solo shutout in the team's 2-0 win over LSU Shreveport. This past weekend, the Patriots dropped a match to nationally ranked Trinity, but closed out the non-conference portion of their schedule Sunday afternoon by offing previously undefeated Southwestern. Annalise Medina and Lauren Thomas had the two goals for UT Tyler, but Sam Frazier made four saves at keeper. Now, the men's soccer team hasn't been quite as fortunate as the women, dropping three close games to three tough opponents to start the season. The Patriots fell to Southwestern 1-0 and Trinity 3-2 to open the season, and this last weekend fell in double overtime to Division II Harding. The season basically starts over for both squads as they open American Southwest Conference play this Thursday at the Citizens First Bank Perkins Soccer Complex right here on the UT Tyler campus. The women get started against Mississippi College at 5.30 and the men follow at 7.30. Thursday night is also Pack the Pitch Night. There will be free food, giveaways, and a lot more. So be sure to make it out Thursday night to cheer on the Patriots. They'll continue the homestand at 2 Saturday against Louisiana College. The UT Tyler cross country teams open their 2009 campaigns September the 5th with the men taking first place and the women finishing second at the UT Tyler Invitational Run right here on campus. The men scored 43 points in the 8K race, beating out second place Southwestern by seven points. The Patriots anchored by sophomore Jeff Chandler, who finished second overall with a time of 27.36. For that performance, Chandler was named the first ASC Men's Runner of the Week for the 2009 season. In the women's 5K race, UT Tyler scored 45 points to finish well in front of third place University of Dallas and just 15 points behind Northwood. Freshman Jenny Murphy was the top finisher for the Patriots, racing to a fourth place finish for the time of 2036. Murphy's mark moves her into second place on the school's all-time 5K record leads, and that's in her first collegiate race. The Patriots will return to action September the 19th when they travel to Monroe, Louisiana to race in the ULM Warhawk Invitational. On the volleyball front, the Patriots have already played eight games, and they're four and four to start the year. The volleyball team went two and two at the UT Tyler Trinity Mother Francis Invitational, and in the process, UT Tyler's win over Mid-America marked the 100th career victory for head coach Christy Phelps. Congratulations to Coach Phelps for reaching that milestone. This past weekend, the Patriots played in the Austin College Classic and also went two and two, with wins against Jarvis and Barry, and losses from Austin College and Wachita Baptist. Thursday, UT Tyler will open the American Southwest Conference portion of the 2009 schedule by traveling to Longview to take on Letourneau at 7 p.m. The Patriots play three straight road matches before returning to the Harrington Patriots Center September 25th against UT Dallas. Now, as we wrap it up, let's take a quick look at what's coming up this week. One more time, don't forget, this Thursday night, September 17th, is Pack of the Pitch Night. As men's and women's soccer teams open conference play, they need your support out at the soccer field. Well, things are off and running here in Tyler, and we're glad you're part of the excitement. Don't forget to stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter. Links to those, plus scores, stats, and more can always be found at uttyler.edu athletics. Thanks for watching Patriots 360, and go Patriots!